USB digital multimeters. I got two of them for a friend of mine. Let's see what we get in the baggies. Now it's time we had a look at the multimeters in details, but first of all, you will need to watch this video here to understand why these two batteries, they are both 2 amp hours, and uh, of course, the big one stores more energy, but this video here will explain you everything. So pause the video and keep on watching when you're done with this one. Well, this device is called ATORCH 12-in-1 USB tester, DC, digi DC digital voltmeter, amperometer, volt current meter, armor detector, power bank charge indicator. Well, the name of the device is quite long. Um, let's see what we get in the baggie. This is a quality certificate, of course. And this is a short manual with a couple of tips. Hmm. And we have a specification of the device that is quite important. So these are the close-up photos of the manual, front and back, so you can have a look at the details. So this is the device uh, with a simple board inside. Uh, we have our female USB here and male USB here. So and I'm not going to unwrap the device because it does not belong to me, to me but uh, we'll get it plugged in and we'll see how it works. Well, uh, let's the device started for the first time and what we get here, a welcome screen and all the information that we are going to gather. So voltage, uh, probably, oh, we've got resistance and, and amp hours and wattage hours. We have wattage hours, that's a very good information. So let's plug something inside. Maybe I will switch off the lights before charging any of the devices that I have on my desk and then we'll see the screen better. One second. As you can see in this video, the device has a number of modes it can work in. The only control that we have over the device is performed with the one button it has. The display has a backlight so it can be illuminated and the data can be read in poor light conditions. But as it only has one button, the mode device works in is gonna change, as well as you will need to press the button a number of times to get back the right mode again. So it is not the best solution in the world. My old Mooker does much better job with the illuminated digits. There are much brighter and easier to read even in bright light. Anyways, the device will allow you to find out voltage, amperage, wattage, milliampere hours and watt hours. I personally use my USB multimeter to check out the USB port for the amount of amps they deliver to find out if manufacturers did not mislead us. I check the power consumption of my USB devices and of course the device will allow you to check how much life is left in your mobile phone battery. Overall, it is a good and cheap device. The good thing is that it reads watts and watt hours, unlike my old Mooker. I would recommend you buying the model with illuminated characters, not with the backlight, as it is much handier to be able to see the readings at all times. A couple of devices like this one in affiliated links below, so just check them out. Well, if you want to watch some other of my videos, one here, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, you have to subscribe, just click my face here. That's it for today. Bye bye!